So the deafening silence brings madness to certain people. In today's Skyrim history video, I'll be bringing you guys the history of Caesaro. Now, Caesaro, as we all know, is an imperial assassin and is one of the last members of the Dark Brotherhood. He is also known as the Keeper of the Night Mother. So, Caesaro is an imperial supporter, considering the fact that he was born in the imperial city and remains an imperial raced man. So he was born in Cyrodiil. So he then became the assassin of the Dark Brotherhood around the age of 20 years old in Cyrodiil. Cicero and his brothers were in the Bruma Sanctuary that was attacked by whom we still have no idea. After the destruction, Cicero traveled to the city of Shadenhall homed to another Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Rasha, as we will know, he is the leader of this sanctuary. And in the year 187, the year in the Fourth Era, the Dark Brotherhood was extremely low on members. Dark Brother Sanctuaries were being destroyed and abandoned by their assassins all across Tamriel. The Black Hand, the leaders of the Dark Brotherhood, wanted to expand the Brotherhood, but Caesaro didn't want people to lose the faith in the Brotherhood, and faith would get lost without a listener because no one would be able to answer these people's contracts and assassinations that was to be done. Allison was the listener at that time. She lived in the Night Mother's Crypt located in Breval. She came to Shane Hall to discuss the reopening of the Shadow Scale training faculty in the city of Archon. Caesaro assassinated the champion of the arena in the Imperial City, pretending to be a adoring fan, singing his praises and dancing until they were alone in the great forest. Caesar then slit his throat, leaving his corpse to rot and to be eaten for the bears. In the year 188, only three sanctuaries remained. Caesar hid in the sanctuary when two huge skooma dealer companies erupted into war in Breville. Rasha didn't allow Caesaro to go help defend the Night Mother's tomb. The listener, Allison, was burnt by a mage, but the Night Mother's coffin was still returned to Caesaro. How we do not know whom brought it to him. In the year 189 of the Fourth Era, Rasha named Caesaro the keeper of the Night Mother. Cicero knew this meant he could not go on any more contracts, however, Rasha allowed him one final contract, which was to travel across to Cyrodiil Cyr to kill another jester like him. Now, once Cicero did this assassination, he was not the madness type, until the jester that he killed was filled with laughter and dancing as Cicero slit its throat. This marked the beginning of Caesaro's madness you will hear written in all his journals today. Caesaro tricked Gonak into killing Rasha for declaring himself the listener. The year was 190 of the fourth era, and only three members remained. Caesaro finally became the last member after one of the members was killed. The other left for food and never returned. He then wrote letters to Astrid, but before Caesaro joined her sanctuary, he made the Dawnstar Sanctuary his home. Then, he goes to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary to play a role in your lives. Does this story change the way you see this madness gesture, Cicero? Do you want to kill him 
or keep him as your follower. Your choice may determine the lives of millions. Think wisely.